Hey guys, Drifter here. Today I've got a PSA for you about the pistols in Titanfall 2 because they're kind of awesome. It's not like a full in-depth episode, it's more like a the more you know kind of deal. I thought the pistols in this game would be stupid or useless, but I'm having some of the most fun I've ever had in this game by relying on my pistols more and using more niche primary weapons. The majority of players will use a really good assault rifle or a really good submachine gun or something like that, and then they'll run an anti-Titan weapon like a charge rifle or a grenade launcher because that's that makes sense to be able to shoot the titans, but I've been running more niche weapons, sniper rifles, shotguns, energy guns, and relying on my pistols for close range combat because they're just awesome. The one you're seeing right now is in the thumbnail, this is the Mozambique pistol. It shoots three superheated plasma balls at people, kind of like a pocket shotgun or like an executioner from Black Ops 2, and if you hit somebody with all of the shots close range, you just kind of dump truck them, you just one shot drop them, which is awesome, and it allows me to not have to pick the most generic primary weapon possible. What we moved on to now is the wingman pistol, which I didn't think very much of. I thought it was kind of a bad weapon until I realized you can one-shot kill people in the head and their skulls literally explode and their brains go everywhere. It was a very pleasant surprise. One of the other things you'll notice about it is that its hip fire box is actually this tiny little dot and that doesn't mean it's got random or bad hip fire, but rather it's almost perfectly accurate hip fire and you can just aim with the dot if you're good enough. Now you don't get like the sticky or auto aim on consoles but it seems like it was designed for PC players in mind, so you can ADS when you want to, or you can just hip fire people and just destroy them with that tiny dot. Now it's two shots to the body, two shots at most ranges, but one to the head, which is brutal. The secondary weapon that you guys probably see most often is going to be the Auto 45. If it's the RE 45, I, I, I love <laughs> when I eject and manage to get mid-air kills in this game. You see it most often because it's easy to use. It's like a pocket SMG. You can just pull it out and spray people like the PP2K and good old Call of Duty or a G18 and it literally melts. It deals a surprising amount of damage and like I would recommend almost every secondary in the game, I would recommend this one. It's certainly not as satisfying or as skillful to use as the other ones, but it does get the job done. Another random fun fact for you is that Titanfall 2 is doing a free-to-play weekend this weekend. You can do it on Xbox, PS4, PC. You can just boot it up and load the game and play all weekend for free. I'm just kind of throwing that out there because I thought it was a shame that the sales for this game were as low as they were given how much fun it is for me to play. And seeing as how I want to continue to have people to play with, I'm doing a little shameless promotion here for Titanfall. So try that free-to-play weekend so that I can continue playing this in my mornings because pretty much what I do is I get up in the morning and play around to her Titanfall. Anyway, let's get back on topic with these pistols. You may be saying to me, okay, that's great, the secondary weapons are good and you can have a little fun with them, but what about the anti-Titan weapons? Well, I don't find them as useful as I did in previous Titanfall games. We're looking at the Hammond 45 right now, which is the semi-auto, very Call of Duty-ish weapon in the game, and you would think that this most generic of pistols would suck, but again, it, it dump trucks people pretty hard. I, I was very shocked when I started using it, so this one's worth uh, going for too if you feel like it. But anyway, as for the anti-Titan weapons, they're just not as strong as they used to be, not nearly as a effective, so I find myself using them less and less and relying more and more on my smoke grenades to annoy the titans or to rodeo them. Now, rodeoing the titans is the best thing you can do in this game because you steal a battery pack from them, which steals their health and it reduces it by one full bar, but then you can take that battery and jump on a friendly titan and give them a full uh, set of shield, which is really awesome, and once you give them a full uh, health bar of shield, it charges your titan like stupidly fast. The fastest way to get your titan in the game is to steal a battery and heal a teammate. Or, you can just hold on to the battery like a greedy bastard, kind of like what I'm doing right here, and use it to just get in your Titan with a full shield. Or if you pick up multiple batteries, you can charge your overdrive core, and it's pretty dope for the most part. Got a nice little execution there right off the bat because this guy was low. And that's kind of the end of my PSA. I don't bother with anti-Titan weapons anymore because I just like to rodeo them and use my advanced mobility to get rid of them. And I've been using more specialized weapons and less assault rifles and relying increasingly on the pistols to kind of carry me through the rough spots. And it's a tactic that I would recommend to any of you as well. Guys, that is pretty much all for this short video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.